Hi guys, welcome to a quick video on the new Typhoon H Plus interface. So I'm um, just mucking around with it for a little bit here. I uh, had to run, uh, run a uh, Chinese to English converter over it because there's still some Chinese stuff in it. It's, it's not finished, um, but uh, I, think we, I think we can all agree after seeing this that uh, it's going to be worth the wait uh, while the, why the H Plus hasn't been released just yet. So let's just run through a few uh, quick things we've got on the screen here. All right, so main interface, um, obstacle avoidance is on. Just get rid of that one. And down here, we're currently in video mode. You can see that because the um, the icon here shows a photo. In other words, if we swap over, we're going to change the photo. So we can change the video settings in here. Uh, we're currently, currently in auto for ISO shutter and the exposure. So the only thing we can actually do here is increase or decrease the exposed because we're in auto go to manual and we've got uh, full control there of camera controls go back to auto now if we come up here to the top here and go on this next icon you've got the video format and you've got 4k down to 720p 4k you've got the two different formats and of course the frame rate that's available for this particular um, setting but if you come down the bottom here, you can see HEVC was turned on. If I change back to MP4, I can go 4K at 60 frames. And that's where I'm now selected. Okay, so there we go. That's really nice. Click on the back arrow into, uh, sorry, into here. You've got the white balance, automatic, lock, sunlight, cloudy, fluorescent, sunrise, customize. Um, there's some pretty cool stuff in there. Um, I'm in fluoro, so I'll go to that one. Maybe I can lock it. No, I want fluoro. Okay, and exposure metering, average, spot, and centered. Now, what's good, I think, about this centered one um, is if you see here that we went into exposure metering, we say centered. Okay, uh, let's just try this because in this next menu, menu here in the set menu, there's this thing here called center point. So I turn center point on and then click somewhere on the screen here um, it sort of puts this center point on so I don't know if that's actually anything to do with these um, these other settings in here so anyway that's the center point uh, so we'll turn that one off histograms back in an ac action again and of course our um, thirds grid uh, anti flicker Australia was set to 50 go back to automatic uh, format SD card and reset all camera parameters. Okay, that's all for that one. Um, then we've got this universal um, Delari, whatever that one is, and slow motion. Um, yeah, don't know. They're just going to be different settings. Um, obviously, we don't know what they are just quite yet. Um, but um, anyway, they will eventually explain what they are. All right, so that's that one. Uh, down the bottom is the playback menu. Uh, it's currently not finished. So we'll quit out of that one. And of course, then you can change up to the camera mode. So now we're in camera mode. The settings in here, same sort of stuff. This one, you've got photo format. You can say photo size. And the super definition versus down to low definition. JPEG and JPEG DNG. They still don't have a DNG only, um, which is a shame. Um, because I still think they actually can't write fast enough to have um, JPEG and DNG. Uh, back to your white balance, that's the same, and exposure metering as well. All right, under the set for camera, you've got all the same, basically the same things. All right, so that was under camera. Um, this little slider down the side here, um, don't know what we're going to be doing with that one just yet. I don't know if that is uh, indicative of the tilt of the camera. Uh, I don't think it is because if I actually do tilt the camera here, you can see uh, it doesn't actually show that going up and down. All right, so not so much that one. All right, um, top right hand corner, we've got settings. This is pretty cool in here. Um, I haven't been able to work out what these ones are because there's obviously no, nothing to translate in that one. Um, to do with the obstacle avoidance, this one here is to do with either hover or return. Um, so if you come across a, uh, um, an obstacle, you can either hover, which is the top one, um, or you can um, back away, I think it is, reverse or something. Um, coming down the bottom here, uh, the different settings for um, how you actually want to control the 
uh, manual mode or smart mode and then auto and then return to launch okay um, you can see there if I come back here if I click it in to return to launch it says here executing uh, it's already landed so it's going to not do return to launch all right um, we have then the uh, the maximum height okay um, and uh, don't know what that one was this one here is calibration so that's pretty cool you click on the start calibration shows you how to rotate it all um, so that's pretty good okay we'll cancel out of that one and your um, return to launch height is there okay so that's all for that one now in the settings you can notice across the top here that was for the aircraft there it is there the next one is the controller so clicking on the controller here You've got, um, I presume, mode selects for how you want actually um, these buttons or the sticks or whatever to be controlled. Um, so that could be the mode select um, section. Again, not too sure. Uh, this one here has, um, this one said um, uh, like toggle inputs or something like that. So I think it's a way of checking the dip switches. Um, again, not completed that one. Come into the Wi-Fi. Now this one's actually pretty cool. Um, so in here we've got um, the basically are you a master or a slave controller so uh, two controllers um, it's pretty cool so that was that one and um, again in here what aircraft we're currently connected to uh, and that's bound to that aircraft so refresh okay and what camera so that's the aircraft and that one there's the camera uh, so which camera we're actually bound to uh, so click on that one all right and then we've got the uh, the next one again don't really know what these ones are I didn't um, because again there's nothing to say here um, what Chinese I know was I couldn't interpret it because there's nothing to actually to see um, so don't know where it is in that one all right back to the front screen um, you've got the little uh, head up display there we'll turn this one off um, you've got a calibration thing if we tap on the uh, which one is it one of ones along here uh, um, come on there you go um, you've got a few other hidden menus and stuff here um, this one here gives you the channel support you can see um, there's the values for your all your different sticks um, and the toggles there we go, going through them all. Okay, so where were we? We're in here somewhere. I'm mashing the screen until we find the one that's not the one. Come on, I think it's the controller one. Anyway, it's up there somewhere. All right, down the bottom here, uh, the distance, the height. Um, the vehicle speed, the um, uh, the total time, and I think also the the height above ground level. Uh, takeoff, here it is. So we'll click on the. I'm not going to be able to do it. All right, let's get out of here then. There it is. We'll turn that off. All right. So down the bottom here, we actually got the vehicle controls. There we go. Bottom left. Click on that one. And no, I don't want that one. Go away. All right, there we go. So these are our smart modes. So the first one is basically waypoints, um, where you can either um, fly the waypoints or set the waypoints. Okay, we've got three little pitch graphs here showing you um, how you want the craft to go. And it's what it's saying here is, uh, make sure you avoid obstacles between them because otherwise it will crash into it. Click on OK. Um, and now there's pretty cool here, which is the drone mark waypoints. So the plane creates the new route or the plane, um, you basically implement it. All right, and then you can manage the waypoints as well. All right, so let's go back here. So if we go back into um, drone mark waypoints, you can add a waypoint here. <coughs> and come on. Okay, so that's one waypoint added. Um, obviously, I can't move it, so um, that doesn't really help me. But yeah, anyway. All right, let's go back. <coughs> and 
and now we've got the uh, follow me or and also watch me so you got follow me here or the uh, watch me here so two different screens again watch out for obstacles uh, you've also got a little um, tick box down here which says don't show me again so here's in the follow me or you've got the uh, look at me feature uh, so waiting for that to load up okay and there's the uh, look at me all right click on the information about them and all it's going to do is just show me the um, those little picture graphs from before so there okay next one <coughs> oh, sorry about that all right so back down here we've now got um, the that flyaway sort of one where you know you set the the distance and the height and the angle and just flies back up and yeah it takes a video of you again watch out for inst um, stuff in the way so there it is there you can say oh I'll go out that distance and go at this speed click start and you're ready to go and the last one is orbit so there we go set the height set the radius set the direction uh, so the height, the radius, direction, and uh, telling you here what the um, the different controls are. So either forwards or backwards, and controlling the camera, etc. Uh, watch out for obstacles. Um, so in this one here, um, it's pretty cool that it, it allows you to basically reverse um, the direction as well. So you can choose to go counterclockwise or clockwise. Um, there we go. All right, well, I think that's basically about it. Um, as you can see, um, this is a, a quick look at the new H Plus interface running on an ST16S. But more importantly, if I just move the camera around here, it's running on my H520. So this means that um, we hopefully should be able to have the consumer version um, software running on our H plus uh, H520s, uh, which is going to please uh, particularly a lot of the UK guys. Um, so yeah, can't wait to see that implemented uh, real soon. Thanks for watching, subscribe, like, all that sort of stuff. Um, I appreciate the comments that I've received so far. Thanks guys, bye.